We are trying to understand projection of vectors and here is C4, the communication question 4. Vector projection of A on B is, so these are the two formulas, A dot B divided by magnitude of B square times vector B or ratio of A dot B and B dot B times the vector B. Now, determine the vector projection of vector A. 4, minus 3, 5 on i, j and k using the formula and explain your result. Well, sometimes using formula may be very tedious as in this particular case. And probably that is the reason why we are asking this question. Now here, you know, vector A for us is equals to 4, minus 3 and 5. Now let me just to projection of vector A on J and I'll leave I and K for you, right? So let me do projection on J. In that case, what is vector J? Now vector J is a unit vector in Y direction. And so I can write this as 0, 1, 0, correct? So that is my unit vector. That also means that magnitude of J is 1, right? Unit vector means magnitude of vector J equals to 1. Now, I can use this formula and get the result. So my projection of A on B, which is J in this case, is, so we'll say projection of A on vector J, right? Will be. So I could use any of those formulas, they're good enough. But let me use the first one. Now it says A dot B, that means A is 4 minus 3 5 dot 0 1 0 right over magnitude of b square b is 1 so it is magnitude of b square times vector j right vector j so that is what we get now if you do this what do you get 4 times 0 is 0 minus 3 times 1 is minus 3 so you get minus 3 and 5 times 0 is 0 divided by 1 is minus 3 itself in the direction of j. So this is the vector projection of the given vector on j. Well, if you f follow the same process, then you guess what is the vector projection of the vector on i and k? It will be 4 and 5 respectively, correct? The components. So that is how it is. So, for any given vector, in R3, the projection of the vectors are its direction numbers. Now, it says, explain your result. So, we can explain it in, in a way that, let me just sketch it for you. That could provide some explanation here. So, now, if we have a vector which is 4 minus 3, 5, let's try to sketch it. So 4 units this side, minus 3 units this side, and 5 there. So we get a vector somewhere here, right? So that's the vector. So this is the vector we're talking about. Now this vector, if you want to project it on y-axis, for example, then what do we do? We just draw a projection from the tip of the vector to y-axis. And that is going to be the y-component, correct? this y component which is minus 3. That's how it is. If I draw a perpendicular to z axis then I get the z component which is 5. You see that? So vector projection is a projection on that axis and the direction will be the direction of the axis itself. So this vector here will have that direction along k and here it is along minus j. Do you see that? So that is how you can explain it. Similarly, in R2, if I have a vector, let's say 3, 4, then its projection will be 3 along the x-axis and 4 along the y-axis, correct? So that is how it is. I hope you understand and appreciate now. The projection really is the component of the vector along that axis in that direction. When we say vector, we give the direction. When we say scalar projection, we are only considering the magnitude, right? That is it.
So that's the only difference. Otherwise, it's the same thing. Thank you.